When were you born? Uh, 1912, September 20. And where was that? That was at, uh, well, the post office was Round Peak then. That's between Mount Air and Logas, you know. Surrey County, North Carolina. How many people were in your family? Let's see, there's ten of us children. We've got twin sisters and triplets. Two, two girls and a boy. And triplets and a brother. And I've got five sisters besides that. Let's see. No, four sisters up. See, Addie, Margie, and Issy. That's three, three girls, and the twins is five girls, and the two triplets was seven girls. One boy is eight, and my brother, Quentin, is nine, and I make ten children. What was your father's name? Quayley. Quayley Kyle? Quayley Creed. Qu I mean, Quayley Creed. Yeah. <laughs> sure enough. <laughs> I like Quayley. And you lived on, off the, you lived over by Beulah Schoolhouse? Yeah, right, right on top of the hill from Beulah Schoolhouse. Why didn't you say? So right off Route 58. That's uh, 89. 89. 89. 89. It'd be what? west of 89, about a quarter of a mile. Yeah. What did your father do for a living? Well, he was days? a carpenter, bricklayer, and a farmer. Did he, did he make, did he play any instruments? Yeah, he was a fiddle player and a band player both. And did, did he teach you? Not, the rest of not, 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 not too much. I used to listen to him a lot, but see, he'd been gone from home a long time, and I hadn't really hadn't started playing much till he was gone. What was his principal occupation? Carpentry? Yeah. Yeah, he started out of carpentry, and he went to laying brick and rock and stuff, you know. Used to work in West Virginia in the coal mines, you know, field. Doing carton work in the coal fields, you know. Yeah. Did he, did, when when he come, would come back from there, would he bring back songs from the coal mines? Well, he probably did. I just don't remember don't, too much about that. Percy, you can walk around. There's no problem there. <laughs> no, you don't have. <laughs> this isn't oh, how you hear him sing all the old songs, you know. But I, I don't even know the name of a whole lot of them. He sang and he played it. fiddle in the band, and he is a bass singer in the choir, you know, at the church. Him and uh. There wasn't any prohibition on his playing the music and singing in the choir. No. What was the principal crop you'd have out, out that way? Uh, well, the money crop was tobacco. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, you had your corn and your wheat and your oats and just general farming, you know. <coughs> and what you what you could grow, what you eat, you kept chickens. Mm -hmm. and just, a, just a regular farm. But tobacco was always a money crop in Surrey County. That's what they use for money. When did you first start playing the banjo? Gosh, I wanted to play it ever since I was a little fella, but I never could get started. I guess Try. about the... Uh, uh, maybe 13 years old. Mm -hmm. I got to where I could pick a little bit, you know, and then and I kind of gave it up a while and didn't fool with it. Went worked away from home a few years, and when I was Let's see, when did I stay with Grandpa Lowe's I was about, what, 16 in there. Well, I decided to make you a banjo one day. If you want, yeah, we can talk to you. And uh, Granddaddy and I was out cutting wood, you know, flew wood to cure tobacco with, and I decided to flip me out a banjo up out of that wood, and I made me a banjo. Pretty soon I learned to play. Had a couple of guys help, help me out on it. So Boggy Cochran was...
back set and take a half a dozen if you want to, Tom. <laughs> Thank you.